Roboteers, stand by. There's Team Logicon on the right for the Revolutionist and Team Innovation for Trackzilla on the left. And there's Team Creative Steel for the Gap. And the house spot joining us for this battle will be Sergeant Bash and his flamethrower in conjunction with the 616-pound fury of Sir Killalot. Three, two, one, activate. And here we go. As the Revolutionist gets up to its 1,300 RPM speed, Traxilla's got some real problems there as that cat gets the lifting arm right underneath the Achilles heel of Traxilla. Look at that. Great looking roll cage on the side of the gap. I think he makes fences for a living. The Revolutionist comes in for a quick little tap just to make sure there's some movement going on. Look at the sparks come up. Boy, when the Revolutionist gets up to speed, there's no telling what'll happen. The Revolutionist doesn't look like he's spinning too much right now anymore. He's still got forward motion, courtesy of Kilowatt. But he's got the movement still. Look at the damage on the side of him. And I'll tell you what, Traxilla's not looking too healthy out there. That top lifting arm could have been a Shremac or a self right mechanism, but he's not moving at all. And RefBot quick in with a countdown for the first victim of this round of Robot Wars. It doesn't seem like Traxilla's going to make it too far. And unfortunately, everyone else doesn't seem to be doing that well either, but Traxilla was the first to go down. And fortunately for the gap in Revolutionist, they're going to limp through this one. There's only two can go through as the house bots come in and make the first victim pay the price. Revolutionist has got a bit of a spin left, but they're going to have to do some work in the pits for that next round. There's the jaws of death coming down from Sergeant Bash. And the audience wants Traxilla to get all fired up, but not in a good way. They're saying, burn, burn, burn. Well, Traxilla doesn't look too flammable, and those tracks are still working. Unfortunately, they're the wrong side up. As Kilowatt backs into Traxilla and lines them up perfectly for the flip. And a little bit of air time, and still, poor Traxilla ends up on its back. And let's take one more look at the most movement Traxilla made in this whole round. Look at that. Eight feet of air, but no fighting.